What is up, loud and proud freaking crowd? Why are you always laughing? Every time I intro, you laugh at me. She laughs at me every time I intro, but... So we got this, you know, this Longhorn here. The, uh, and the reason I introduce the trucks every time I start a new video, guys, it's not because I want to annoy you guys like crazy, but it's because there are new people that stop into every video. Even though my views may look like they're very similar, yes, most of the views are probably from the same people or the same group of people, but there are also thousands of new people that see each video, okay? All of the views are not necessarily only from subscribers that are, you know, uh, long-term subscribers. So this is my 2018 Mega Cab Longhorn uh, 6, 7 comments, and this truck has just been getting spoiled rotten lately. I mean, it just got new wheels, new tires, a new lift kit, new grill, new tail lights. Um, it just got a new cold air intake, and now it's getting a intake manifold put on it right now. So what we got here is the um, factory intake manifold, and this one has a few slight differences about it that you might notice, and that's due to some <coughs> uh, magical work that was done to make the truck breathe better. So then we've got this uh, Banks Monster Ram, and no, Banks is not sponsoring me. I do not uh, really work with any companies in terms of sponsorships currently, except for Anthem, just because I'm just I just don't like dealing with all of the having to please other people and meet certain criteria and all that kind of crap. It's just 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 a lot of nonsense I don't want to deal with. But this is a product that I wanted to use just because I read a lot of good reviews about it, and it seemed to be a product that a lot of people were very very happy with. And so I decided that's what I want to put in my truck if a lot of people are seeing good results with it. If you look under here, you'll see just how insane increased space there is for added flow with this product compared to the factory one, which you'll see the difference once we get it out of there. It's actually pretty remarkable. So what we're gonna do here is get onto installing these parts on the truck and getting it um, running a little bit better. And then keep in mind, guys, two days, one or two days, by the time you see this video, it's gonna be down to almost the last 48 hours left to enter to win this truck, so do not forget to enter. Every $15 you spend on LNP gear gets you another entry to win this truck. A lot of stuff sells out really fast the last day, so do not wait until the last minute to enter. Keep that in mind, stuff does sell out, but information in the description below. And yes, I will ship the truck anywhere in the USA 50 states to get it to you if you win, so do not hesitate to enter. Just a beautiful, F-350 four-door lawn bed, just a, just a massive, massive truck. But let's get into installing these parts here on the truck, and uh, hopefully all goes well, goes smooth, and uh, we're gonna have this thing breathing very nicely. Okay, so after a long day in the shop, which I know, I know, all the guys out there that do this stuff every day are gonna be like, bro, it took you all day. I know, newbie, right? So um, I got the Banks Monster Ram Air in, and uh, it looks really good. Now, the only thing that kind of caught me off guard, which I saw the part in the box, but I didn't realize it, is this fuel line here, which I completely lost, and it was just sitting there. Okay, this, um, doesn't fit with the Monster Ram Air. So basically you have to take this off and they have another one, a replacement one that goes in there to swap it out to make that bend right there. You can see it back behind there. So um, now that all fits together nicely. So everything's all tightened up, fitted. Only one more thing I forgot to do, which I can't reach with the truck like that, but um, there's just like a little sensor. Get a plug in the back here. And then that, I think is that satisfying click sound. So I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. 
Now we're going to get this truck, we're going to open up the barn door. We're going to get this truck started up and backed out. And uh, we still haven't started the truck up since we did the S and B yesterday. But we're going to go get this fired up here, um, back it out, and then we're going to start up, hopefully start up the 7.3. This truck's been sitting here for, uh, since, since I proposed to you on the 18th. So, actually no, it's been sitting there since about three days before that. So about the 15th of January, it's been sitting here. And it is the 25th of the time that I'm actually recording this video. Is it 25th? It's, it's close yeah, to, it's close to that. Yeah, give or take, it's a, I think it's the 25th. But the truck's been sitting here ever since. So, it's a little bit cold, I'm sure. But it was just plugged in about a couple hours ago. We unplugged it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get this truck started up. Hopefully everything's good. We don't have any issues. And you can sit in the truck once I open this door because it's going to get cold. She's been out here helping me all day. I mean, look at the width of this truck. It had to just prime it a little tiny bit, not much, just a little bit uh, for that fuel line that we had to swap out. Freaking mega cat is just huge, man. It did have one new battery in it already, but I replaced them both anyway. Because I'm just, I don't want to deal with crap. Annoying crap. The truck was plugged in. However, it's been unplugged for a few hours now. Hopefully we get a, hopefully we get a quick start up here. That would be nice. Oh my gosh, yeah. It was just the batteries. <laughs> Wow, that's the fastest this truck has ever fired up. That is crazy. First time it's ran in about 10 days. And wow, holy smokes. So yeah, there you go. That's the truck, how it starts up with the new batteries. I told you guys it was just, it was just a battery issue uh, because he replaced one of the batteries with a good battery and the other one he didn't. And I don't know how that works, but I feel like if you're gonna replace them, you gotta replace them both. Otherwise, when it does get really cold, like it's seven degrees out right now, that truck, especially if it's not plugged in, this one happened to be unplugged until a few hours ago we unplugged it, but even when it was plugged in, those batteries, it did not start this truck up like that. It was like a little bit slower crank. Um, but yeah, I feel like with a truck like this, these big diesels, old school, you gotta have two good batteries to really fire these things off. They're not 12 valves, these 7.3, they're not 12 valves, so they don't just need a little bit of a, you know, a spark to get it fired up on a dime. They, I mean, they take a little bit more to get them going. So, but yeah, this thing, it looks good, guys. It, it looks really good. But keep in mind, guys, you can win this truck. This giveaway ends in three days, maybe two by the time you see this. You might see this the day after this video goes up. But one, but basically we're down to the last 48 hours, give or take, and this giveaway is over. You could be winning this truck right here. Beautiful 1997 F350 four-door long bed. There's no rust on the truck anywhere. It's got the 40s by 1550 wides, 22 by 14s on it. And that little oil leak, somebody was pointing that out in a, in a video one time. They said, oh dude, your truck's leaking oil. And I said, yeah, that was a little oil drop that happened. I don't know why or how this happened, but I was trying to start the truck up on weak batteries, you know, the batteries that used to be in it, and it wasn't plugged in, and so it was cranking and cranking and cranking and cranking, and I tried it about four or five different times for about 10 seconds each time I let it crank, and I let it sit in between. But when I was cranking, and it was cranking really hard and low, it started to drip a little bit of oil, but when it starts up fine like this and idles, there's never any oil that drips. I don't understand, I don't know why it, it only did that on the really low, hard cranks, but that's all it did. I don't know why, it doesn't make sense to me, but 
That's how that little oil drop got there. Yeah, definitely go check out the information in the description below and get yourself entered to win this truck. Ever thought about entering a giveaway? This is a really good one to enter. But giveaways are generally a very low entry count, especially on a lot of these older trucks. They're really cool, but they're older trucks. And um, But in the end, it just makes it a really good opportunity for you guys. Um, these giveaways, we don't have thousands of people entering these things. It's not like what a lot of people think. Um, not anywhere near that, but it's, uh, it's just a really, really fun thing to do to see a subscriber win a truck like this. And they're just... They're just freaking blown away. And uh, I'm always impressed and just super joyful and excited every time we have a winner of a truck. It's just a super special moment that is just, it's just awesome. It's just such a, such a cool moment and such a cool feeling to give back to uh, subscribers. And just because we're giving away a 1997 F-350 does not mean this has to be the truck you win, so to speak. This would be the truck that you technically take home, but let's say you want a Duramax. Let's say you want a Cummins. Let's say you want something, something else. Maybe you want a sports car. I don't know. You can take this truck you can sell it the day after you win it does it hurt my feelings it's your truck you can do with it as you please you can flip this thing the very next day if you want just pocket a bunch of cash maybe you got some bills to pay or maybe you just want a different truck but this is just the one that you want to be able to sell and get the cash to buy that truck that you really do want so keep that in mind thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the videos Stay tuned, a lot more coming at you. Thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, 48 hours left. Thank you guys so much, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.